Greetings, everybody. This is Monday, March 12, 2007, at 1 p.m. And I just uh, was watching the construction continuing at the uh, New York Times printing plan site. Over the weekend, I passed by and I noticed that there were still no signs with permits or anything as required by law on the permit on the uh, construction sites. And as you can see, the pile driver is now coming onto the north and the east side of the building. And uh, the plans that were shown to the community board task force did not indicate that there would be any new construction over here. So I'm just very curious to see what's going on. You can see that the noise really carries. The guy was just hammering something. Maybe you could hopefully you pick it up. And you can still see that there's piles of fill and they're not necessarily covered up. So just keeping track. On this Monday, March 12, 2007. Still Monday, it's now 1.30, and as you can see, they're driving piles. We continue. But they're still driving the same pile. mothers. This goes on very early in the morning. They started about just after seven o'clock in the morning. Today it was a little brutal because of the time change over the weekend. It was like starting at about 6.15, 6.30. Looks like there's a lot more piles to be driven in. And you can hear the um, sound as it echoes off all the buildings and stuff. This is brutal. This is really brutal. You can actually feel the vibra vibration in the apartment. We'll see what happens later. Well, still Monday at 3 o'clock now. And it was quiet because they're just moving the pile driver to another location.
Still Monday. March 12, 2007, 3 p.m. And we can see that there's a lot of traffic lined up to get off at 20th Avenue. This is another downside to expansion of the New York Times printing plant property. Monday and it's now 10 after 3 on this March 12th 